What's it like to ship a rocket? It takes teamwork, a precise plan, and a specially designed cargo ship. Known as the Mariner, this 312-foot roll-on, roll-off ship can travel on both rivers and open sea, maneuvering in as little as nine feet of water. The Mariner can carry up to 519,000 pounds. To give you a sense of scale, the Mariner can carry up to three Delta boosters, with each about the size of a Boeing 737 fuselage. This is our 100th Mariner voyage, and here's how we do it. Before the journey begins, we create a load plan for filling the Mariner's massive cargo bay. Just as it sounds, the load plan is a blueprint for the loading of the cargo. The plan ensures even distribution of the weight in the cargo bay. Without properly distributing the weight, we risk damaging the flight hardware, the ship, and even the crew. Once the captain gives final approval of the plan, our transportation team moves forward with the transport and load. Elevating platform transporters, or EPTs, and semi-trucks are used to deliver Atlas and Delta boosters, second stages, and adapters from the factory to the Mariner dock at the Tennessee River. EPTs use hydraulic motors and have wheel bases that operate independently, providing six degrees of freedom and the ability to move or rotate in any direction. They can travel up to 10 miles per hour unloaded or as slow as a tenth of an inch per second. The three mile trip from the factory typically takes about 45 minutes to complete. Once at the dock, we turn the EPT around and load the CBC. Loading the hardware in this manner allows easier unloading at the destination. With the rockets on board, 24,000 gallons of diesel fuel is loaded for the 2,000 mile trip to Cape Canaveral or 114,000 gallons for the 5,000 mile trip to Vandenberg. The trip to Florida takes about eight to 10 days and follows the Tennessee River to the Ohio River to the Mississippi River and finally to the Gulf of Mexico and east to the Atlantic Ocean. The 21 day trip to Vandenberg follows the same route to the Gulf of Mexico but then heads west through the Panama Canal to the Pacific Ocean. At each destination, the flight hardware is then unloaded and ready for launch. And that's what it's like to ship a rocket. 